Hi everyone, I'm Gauri S. Standard 8. I heartily welcome you all to this video. First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you know that tons of plastic is being dumped into the ocean every year? We all have heard about pollutions, especially water pollution. Have you ever thought of what happens to the plastic that is in the ocean? The answer to that is that it is forming a patch and the biggest one is known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the biggest landfill in the world. But not only is it the biggest, it is in the ocean. What is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? It is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean, which is also known as Pacific Trash Vortex, which spans waters from the west coast of North America to Japan. What is the size of Great Pacific Garbage Patch? The GPGP covers an estimated surface area of 1.6 million square kilometers or the three times size of France. Three times size of France. How does Great Pacific Garbage Patch affect humans? The most devastating elements of pollution is that plastic takes thousands of years to decay. As a result, fish and wildlife are becoming intoxicated. Consequently, the toxin from the plastics have entered the food chain, threatening human health. As you know, a plastic bottle takes four to five thousand years to decay and these plastic entering the food chain, food chain threatening human health will also threaten the marine life. Why is plastic in the ocean bad? In the ocean, plastic debris injures and kills fish seabirds and marine mammals because persistent organic pollutants in the marine environment attached to the surface of plastic debris floating plastic in the ocean have been found to accumulate pollutants and transport them through ocean currents what will happen if we don't clean up the ocean shockingly we might have a sea level rise by as much as 19 inches by 2050. A contributing factor to this is that there will be more plastics than fish in our oceans. Can you imagine? Oceans filled up with plastic even more than fish. How many marine life die from Great Pacific Garbage Patch? 100 million marine animals die each year from plastic waste alone. As these animals die from getting entangled in plastic yearly. This is just the creatures we find. One in three marine mammal species get found entangled in litter. As tons of plastic are ingested by North Pacific fish yearly. Which country pollutes the ocean most? Every human being in Earth is responsible for this in one or the other way. But as surveys, China may be the most prolific ocean polluter, but other countries are also contributing their share of mismanaged plastic and plastic marine debris. Right behind China is Indonesia with 3.2 million metric tons of mismanaged plastic waste 
and an estimated 1.29 million metric tons of it winding up in our oceans. Do you know that India is at the third place for having the most plastic waste and mismanaged plastic found? Yes. So, what can we do to stop Great Pacific Garbage Patch? The only way is to do is that to stop using plastic or reduce. Stop using plastic is unimaginable for us this time. But we have to reduce it and we have to reuse it. Because it is time for us to step forward and to say no to plastic. How much would it cost to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? We need to clean up as much as we can before everything degrades into microplastics, Leberton said. It would cost between $122 million and $489 million just to hire enough boats to clean the Great Pacific Garbage Patch for a year according to a U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimate from 2012. How long would it take to clean the ocean? A complete cleanup of a Gaia is unrealistic. But calculations show that they can clean up 50% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in 5 years from full-scale development of our system. The Ocean Cleanup is a non-profit engineering and environmental organization based in the Netherlands. As the Ocean Cleanup projects to be aimed to remove 90% of ocean plastic by 2040. They are developing a passive cleanup method which uses the natural oceanic forces to rapidly and cost efficiently clean up the plastic already in the oceans. With a full fleet of cleanup system in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, they aim to clean up 50% of its plastic every five years. World's first cleanup system from San Francisco on September 8, 2018. Yes. It is time for us to step forward and say no to plastic, to save our mother earth, to save nature, to save every creatures of the world. Or is the time to act for everyone? Let's have a look at it. What we discussed. What we know. You can see the litter of plastic which is moved by the tides into the ocean, forming patches. the great pacific garbage patch as you can see in the north pacific ocean between hawaii and california yes it is the three times of the country france size the plastic litter which is disposed without any vision of the authorities which will be taken into the sea and ships dump trash into the water. Also ends with the cause of plastic 
cups, straws and everything, rope, which is not safe to the marine life. took it for food. They eat it and they get entangled by themselves. Entangled in ropes and hooks which will cause their death. And the food they mistook. They eat. Most of them dies. plastic are entered in the food chain as you can see in the food chain the plastic will also cause human health thank you yes I need to say Thank you for hearing me. Now it's time for us to act to stop ocean plastic pollution. To think what we can do and to take actions. <laughs>